All right, you guys, now to the interior. This is a cool screened in front porch that they've put day beds in. They VRBO'd it a couple of years ago, or they haven't for a couple of years, but boy, I think it definitely would work well. Just to orient you, here's the deck outside I filmed earlier. Nice big fireplace. Wet bar area. Let's head to the master. Here blinds to the front deck that I opened just to bring in more light and to show that they were there. And into the kitchen. Undermount sink, lots of storage. dining room. Before we go upstairs or down, I'll take you to the back porch, screened in back porch. This would be one of my favorite spots if the weather was a little inclement. This is where I would come in from the garage or just coming into the house myself <clears throat> and just of course the view. And more mountains out here. Okay. There are two ways upstairs. Right there. But I'll go in the, I'll go up the main way. And down the other.
Okay, let's start on the north side. Normal depth closet there. And again, the sink, if you didn't notice. Two closets, one on each side. Okay, these stairs will go down about to the kitchen. Nice storage here. Space heater to keep things toasty. Hooks for all the towels. Now that closet is covered, assuming it's a closet. Let's see if I can tell. Uh, looks like a closet. Can't see why it wouldn't be a closet. Again, it was sunnier early, earlier in the day. Sorry, it didn't last. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Now down the stairs to the kitchen. And there we are, pretty central. Right be right next to that stairs to down to the down. And typical of this time period here, it's more storage. But they've dressed it up a bit with laundry deep sink and okay there we go I was gonna say there has to be another light it smells clean down here another fridge this goes outside if you're bringing wood in from back in the 1920s, this is the way you would do it. So. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. Yeah, so here we go, an entrance out, out here. Pretty handy for I guess if you go to Costco and you're going to have a bunch of storage down here, that is the way I would do it. Water pressure tanks. 
more kind of workshop utility. These are two sump pumps I see in the house. Great to have. Keeps the water from coming into the basement from underneath if it's a high water year. And it feels very cozy. And there we are.